what, what would you say about flop of the season so far? Who have been, and normally this is the more expensive people that haven't delivered. Mount's name's got to be in there, but he's only played two games. Kaiseido. Kaiseido. Talk nice about Kaiseido. Relax, relax. No, 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 talk about it. No, no, no. Talk about him, bro. No, no, no. no, 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 no. Do can Don't I, do I, that. Can I, can I at least, can I at least Kais, defend Kais, needs time. Kais, Kais Kais needs time. Give Kais time. British record fee for Can I at least slightly defend him before? Also, before we defend him, boy. I want my flowers for Gavardio because he's unreal. But that can come out at a later date. Um... For Caicedo, right? He played about 15 minutes against West Ham and he gave away a penalty. I can't I can't back him on that. That was dumb, right? But it was terrible the whole thing, not just the penalty. Yeah, like, yeah, was yeah the whole but thing, man. But, in, that, but in that second half, was in the second half, was anyone functioning that well? No. So I'm not gonna put that on him, right? In that last game, in that last game, he actually didn't play badly. And I know he gave away the ball before the goal, but the amount of times midfielders lose balls in midfields, that's not new. Why is no one talking about the fact that none of the other midfielder and all the other defenders did nothing about um what's his face? Uh who even had the I I was it Ioniwi or Alanga having the I ball? You. Why is no one talking about that? It's just it was just just because Kaiseno lost the ball. Oh, it's Kaiseno's fault. I thought he did actually play that badly. He just gave away a ball and then everyone no, but, to get no, but, no, but David, do you but know why? I, I do think 100 mil, 150 mil, I get it. Don't worry, I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I understand. I'm not I'm not delusional. But I would like to defend him. Like he's not. It's not all been awful. It's not been like it's flopped so hey, far. Dave, you can, Dave, you, can you, know? you can rescue it. He can. He can not be. Yeah, a yeah, no, season, he's but he's no, in the first four games. Stupid. The reason yeah, why there's so much heat on him is the fact of I'm using Hapo's logic. You paid a world record fee for him. I'm expecting Claude Makélélé level. Allegedly, and allegedly. he's not even doing that, bro. Hapo, <laughs> you said it. You said it for. De you said it for Declan Rice. You paid 105 million. I'm expecting levels. You paid a world record fee, British record fee. No, 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 it didn't. Bright, no, 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 Brighton bro. just bullied us into that. That's fee. Basically, I don't You're even view that it. as a proper fee. Brighton basically pushed us. Basically, what's bright? Brighton should be taken to the Hague or Court of Christian of Soil because what they did to us in Liverpool, that's a crime. It's criminal. So for me, I don't view that as a press. That's just a crime. So for I see that's real. What we paid for thingy, I don't view that as a fee. But look, as Lawless just said, come on, it's yes. He looked bad in those, not looks bad, but he did not look up to par of 150 mil. Let's keep it a stack. We don't need to see 38 games. Kai Havertz will be the flop of the season. That is set in stone. Yeah. Yeah, That's yeah. set in stone. Because do you, do you, do how you paid though. 60 mil for that dude? Wow. But do what's mad. That's fine. Yeah, if if Arsenal, if yeah, Arsenal yeah, end up yeah. winning anything or just having the same season they had last year, we won't really be talking about flop of the season. Yeah. Can I say though, has yeah, to be. Yes, you no, with... no, yes, we will. No, Jen, no, 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 he hasn't impacted their team to a point where he's dropping them points. Now, I know Caicedo, for me, for someone I rate so much, and the, we were talking about value earlier on, the fact that, what is he, he's nearly, what is he, 50, 60 million pounds more expensive? Yeah. And and Caicedo's so far been worse than Havertz. <gasps> and he costs like 50, 60 million more. I don't think Caicedo will be the flop of the season. Come the, he won't be the flop of the season come the end of the season. But right now... Like everyone will go to Kai Havertz because it's the easy factor, but I just think Kai Sado's price and the value and the fact he's done nothing yet in those games puts him in that mix. I think Kai Havertz is there. You can throw Mason Mount into it as well, but he's only he played the first two games, but he was awful. How much you pay for Onana? I want to I want to ask you, Man United fans, about Onana. No, it's not 45, 42, 42, 42 million. 42. Wait, 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 hold on. Terry, I'm wait, just going to say... Are, yeah, we, wait, are we putting time... a number seven jersey tax on Mounts if he flops? Since he was no. given the number seven jersey, should there be a tax there? <laughs> yeah, I, th I think so. I think you got it. Man. Yeah, I think so. Ah, maybe. It's the iconic number seven for United, no? Yeah, but like, no, come on. If, if you flop David in the same jersey that best war... Yeah, but come on, yeah. But then yeah, Nketiah got around. the number 14, didn't he? Didn't he get the number 14? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right now, right now, to be fair to Nketiah, he scored a goal. I ain't seen nothing from MM7. I'm, you know, I'm actually coming for Mason Mount because I got flat, but I got flat for hating on him. 
And then I got fucked for defending him. So now he's left. I'm just gonna, I'm just running with it. I'm just running with it now. Nah, yeah, I want to ask a question. So, yeah. Dan, you think that Onana could be the flop of the season so far? No, I, I, I don't think he is the de facto, but I think his name needs to be mentioned, like an honourable mention of someone uh, who has, I think, he, he's not lived up to it. I looked at the, oh. the stats on the stats oh. after oh. to De Gea uh, last season. No way. Dan, that's stretching it, bro. Uh, I'm not having that. I'm not having that. The only, the only <laughs> goal I'll have a go at. Even that we made against Arsenal, we didn't seem to know much about. I'm not saying he's... He just has not lived up to the hype as being the guy to replace De Gea and now we've got a proper goalkeeper. He may come good, it's still too early, but right now, I'm just saying his name it should be spoken on. He hasn't what, done what, anything. What, what, what goals? What, what goals would you say are his fault? Like where? Wow, you should have saved that. What was the the uh, the was it the first game? I'm trying to think. The first he had a awful. I know the midfield got. <laughs> I, I know. I know what. So the first game he wasn't. We, we got a clean sheet. We won one nil. The, the forest Alan, game. The forest game. That we left your own goal. And listen, in real time, I think I tweeted what the hell was the goalie doing. Then I rewatched it, and the hmm. player dummies a shot. And the goal he goes to make the save, and then he realizes he's a dummy, and because he's off balance, he falls over. That's no different. How many of your goalkeepers have had a player run around them, take them on, or dummy? Not like, mine. Not I don't really think it was that bad, but I feel like Onana is getting overly like even the goals against Arsenal. How many of those goals were? The, how many of those goals were, the, were his fault? I thought you, I, let me read this. Year, let me read this out to you guys. Right, this is what I was looking at: De Gea versus Onana. De Gea's last four games, Onana's first four games, goals conceded. De Gea two. Onana seven clean sheets. De Gea two. Onana one save percentage. De Gea eighty three. Onana sixty eight yeah, passes. Nice he's made more passes. Uh, but, can I ask a question? Yeah, uh, a question for you. How many? How many more shots w- 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 did each? How many shots did each goalkeeper have at them? And what part of the goal were the shots at? What was it? What was the yeah, XG of those chances? Sky Premier League have not yeah, added that. Exactly. Yeah, of course. That. <laughs> they, haven't put, they haven't factored that in. What team this are we playing? This is at his yeah. worst, right? This is the worst. This is supposed yeah. to be the worst De Gea for his last four games. Yeah, but it's it, 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 last season. Like, De Gea so wasn't. Again, what, what you've got to remember about that, listen, it's a fair, it's a fair challenge. In terms of playing out from the back, we almost pulled it off against Arsenal, and he was a bit integral in that. I don't think Onana's as good a shot stopper as David De Gea at his peak, but David De Gea was leaking some crazy mad chances last year. I think you could put one goal we've conceded down to him, but our midfield in the first two games was getting run through like diarrhea and we were being exposed. It's hard to, you know, and even one of the goals in that game, the, 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 the first goal, we don't put any pressure on, on, I think it was Kudasevsky. He comes in, ball goes across the deflection, then bang, it's in. The second goal was an own goal. Goalie could do nothing about it. And against Arsenal, again, I don't, maybe maybe better, maybe he could have got a stronger arm to the the right yeah, shot as an example. Man. He, he almost gave against... away a penalty, by the way, but it wasn't yeah, given against one. Yeah, yeah, when yeah. He tried so to I'm, I'm not saying he's been perfect, but this whole like the Haya comparison, like again, as Man United fans, we can see a difference in having him at the back in terms of how we're trying to play, and it'll come good. But listen, I can understand the criticism, but to, to put him anywhere near Caicedo or Kai Havertz is mad. Cool. Sorry, Harry, how about? Speak. If, if you want to talk, you know, stats and pulling up things that the Premier League and Sky Sports have said, 42 successful passes from Andre Onana against Arsenal is the most by any Manchester United goalkeeper in a sing- single Premier League match since data was collected. So that I mean, kind no, of... No, his stats for passing are really good, but obviously we're not sticking him in midfield. You can, you right? can play in midfield. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, but, on, but on that, though, so, sorry, but on that, David De Gea hasn't been considered one of the best goalies in the league for two or three, four years because of his passing. But when it comes to his shot saving and all these stats and clean sheets, he's been up there with all these other goalkeepers. So this is where Man United fans will defend Onana. For years, David De Gea was took out of the top category because he couldn't pass. Even though his shot stopping and his save percentage and clean sheet levels were high, we now get a goalkeeper who comes in who, by the end of the season, will be pretty much on par with all those numbers, but has superior passing. And for the first time in five years, I'm seeing people say, but passing stats for a goalkeeper are irrelevant. But they weren't irrelevant when De Gea couldn't pass. That's, I'm just calling that there's a clear bullshit on that for me. Not from you, Dan, but in general, suddenly passing out from the back as a goalie is irrelevant because Man United have one of the best in the business. It's weird to me. It's weird. To be fair, how, about Robert, how about Robert Sanchez? How about Robert Sanchez? Oh, nah, that's a shout, JJ. <laughs> Jay, don't do that. Jay, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. that. See, we're talking about one-on-ones, yeah? Sorry, I saw a shot from a fan, yeah? <laughs> from I was Elanga's goal. Yeah. 
I couldn't believe what oh, I was seeing. Oh my god! I couldn't believe what I was seeing, bro. Bro, that dude, that dude dove like three years right after the, the shots, bro. I cannot believe Chelsea signed the second in command at Brighton, who was actually made second by Rob Steele. Damn. Who is Steele? Who, who Jason is Steele? Steele. Jason Steele. Jason Steele. JJ, Steele. they're running a Ponzi scheme. Bolly is running a Ponzi you scheme at Chelsea, bro. Pepper and Mendy, who are both better than Robert Sanchez, it doesn't even make sense. There, there's some money laundering going on there. I'm telling you. It's a, no, 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 Terry. It's a Ponzi scheme. They're running a Ponzi scheme at Chelsea. I've got to go to some of these stupid chat, boys. Onana's first half distribution versus Arsenal was awful, Wrong. if you say so. Uh, West Ham fans uh, forget David De Gea was crap uh, his first season. He, what, De Gea was awful in his first year. He, him and Lindegaard were swapped around he loads. He was really young, though, wasn't he? He was a very... Yeah, he know, was. He was. He, no, 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 it was like mid, 20, mid, mid late 20s. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Was, yeah, uh, yeah. Instead yeah. of doing uh, some self reflection, uh, why a good player isn't performing at your club, clowns will always blame the seller. Did Brighton, a small club, use a gun to force you to buy um, Caicedo? Is what he's talking Metaphorically, about. Yeah, yes. Metaphorically, Metaphorically, yes. Metaphorically, yes. Metaphorically right, speaking, did. they did. Jezza says, guys, don't you realize the team is adapting, evolving, and learning to play together? Statistically, Arsenal have been better than last year. Your comment um, is about optics. We were blowing teams away last season. That will come. I don't think that's true. Statistically, last year, but it might be There we go. Thank you, Jezza. Uh, football fans like you all are reactionary as hell. Caicedo had a slow start like the rest of the team, but I believe... He'll get better in time. And by the way, you don't need Guardiola because we have Colwell. Um, Listen, it's a little bit of fun. I would say it's a little bit of fun. I wouldn't take it too seriously. Uh, you didn't have to pay a world record fee because Brighton bullied you into paying. Lol, what a waffler. Sam says players don't ask the price tag. Uh, only four games, peeps. Uh, Chelsea fan saying, sorry, talking about uh, stick up is funny. You have a whole poll uh, given to you by Brighton for 115 million. Brighton bullied him, and wow, what did West Ham do? Is what uh, uh, Saga says here. Well, this is an interesting one. Conspiracy theory: Anthony has something on Ten Hag, and Sancho knows what it is. <laughs> That's the problem. Uh, they're, they're all going to start soon. Uh, what about Havertz's goal last season? Chelsea would have been relegated and would only have. One Champions League, no respect. Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, please. <laughs> uh, the manager uh, cycle begins at United again, Terry, which is sad to see. When will this fickle fan base learn? Probably never. My club depresses me. They'll never They'll never learn why there's uh, clout to be, and money to be had, my friend. Uh, for me, it's between four players, Soboslai, Edison, Alvarez, and Madison, and uh, James Ward-Prowse, but we can really... Jude after like fifth, or really judge, I think he means after 15 games. You're true. I and thought we were still on flop of the season. I was like, I was going to ask that. These, like, these, these, yeah, these, these are from way back. Uh, Terry, I'm sure Jose brought you a Europa trophy. So how does third position with a Carabao Cup make Ten Hag better? Uh, still having issues with players. Uh, at no point did I say that Ten Hag was a better manager in his first season than Mourinho. I don't know if I said, again, I just, I didn't say that. So I don't I, I can't answer your challenge because it wasn't something that I I I I uttered from my mouth. 